Confession time, I am not a great storyteller, but I am a sucker for a good story. And I mean, who isn't? If you read any book, fact or fiction, watch any kind of TV program or movie, there's a story there woven into the content. And they've created that story to engage with you and draw you in to their journey with them. So how great would it be if we could tell those stories as part of our personal brand to create that kind of connection with our customers? Well, my friend, we can. And today I'm going to show you how you can do that. Stick around for today's video. We're going over some storytelling secrets. everyone, it's Leanne and storytelling has never come naturally to me. I mean, who would even want to hear about my stories? I consider myself quite a boring person. But then I realized storytelling isn't even about me. It's about what I can impart on my community and help them along in their journey. So if I want to serve my community and provide them with advice on how to overcome an obstacle, and I can do that through one of my stories, then I need to get better at storytelling. Perhaps you feel this way about storytelling as well, but I'm here to tell you, my friend, ever since I started telling my story as clumsily as I can, but it's created a connection with my community and I've grown closer to my community through each and every story that I share. So today we're talking about the four steps you need to take to start creating and sharing stories and creating connection with your own community. Before we dive in, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on that little bell to be notified of new content. I create content around personal branding for sales professionals each week, and I don't want you to miss a thing. So here are the four simple steps to help you get started on storytelling as a sales professional. Step number one, look at moments in your life that were transformational. And for most of us, these are moments from our personal life and not necessarily our business life. I want you to take a look at those moments as well, because regardless of the moment that was transformational, there's a lesson that can be applied to someone's per professional world. So take a look at all of those instances that created some change or transformation for you in some way, shape, or form. And let's look at how that we can develop that into a story for our community. Tip number two, take stock of the feelings you had when you were going through that moment of transformation. What were you feeling like? Was it, was it fear? Was it curiosity? Uh, was it elation? Regardless of the fear or where it falls on the spectrum of emotions, start to write down and recollect how you felt during that moment of transformation, because that's gonna come in later when we get to step number four. Step number three is to actually acknowledge the outcome of that transformation. So you went through that experience, but what happened at the end of the experience? What was that change? We need to acknowledge what the change or the transformation was so we can pass that along to our community. And finally, step number four, apply the lesson. So going back to those feelings we had in step number two, how do they now apply to the outcome? Perhaps you were feeling fearful during this moment of transformation, but the outcome was so much greater than you could have ever imagined. And so that's the, uh, the lesson we're applying to the story, is that going through those moments, even though you were fearful, at the end of the day, it created this incredible change for you, and it can create that incredible change for your community members as well. Now that you have a bit of a framework, can you think back on a moment of your life that you can now pass on to your community and create a moment of change in them? Start to doodle those ideas down, and again, doodle the feelings as well, the outcomes, and that transformational change. We want to pass along those tips and tricks to our community to help them along in their journey. Do you plan on using stories to grow your brand this year? 
Let me know in the comments if you think storytelling is a great strategy for you to use in growing your brand. To learn how your authentic personality can show up in your storytelling, check out my vlog about the eight pillars of your personality here and download the personality workbook that will help you identify what to amplify through your brand and of course, things you can amplify in your stories. I look forward to hearing about your branding journey and hearing your stories. Please stay in touch and let me know how it's going. Bye for now.